Hey guys, how's it going? Um, I don't normally do videos like this, but uh, I reached out to XP Pen, and they sent me an Innovator 16 to try out. Uh, and I told them I'd, I'd uh, give my thoughts in a video. And I've also told you guys in the server and the Discord that I would also give a video. Uh, just things I liked, things I didn't like, and just anything that uh, I think's important to note. Long story short, though, it's really good, and now I want the bigger one. <laughs> so let's uh, let's take a look at it. So this is a super thin 9mm thick 15.6 inch display with a resolution of 1920 by 1080. Eight buttons in total, one mechanical wheel and one virtual wheel. I wanted to test the Innovator 16 as well for traveling and was actually able to fit it inside of my overhead luggage. Uh, all the wires were in my backpack and then I had a laptop and then I was able to actually set it up like you can see in the video that I'm showing on top of this. Uh, worked out pretty well. From left to right, you have the power input, the power button, and then you can see the what looks like volume, but it's actually the brightness controls for the screen itself. Here's the stand that it comes with. It only has one angle of tilt. Uh, I kind of wish that it had two more, but it's pretty awesome that it actually comes with a stand. I've seen online some people are adding a book to the little flap just to add a little bit more tilt. Seems to work all right. Let's place the screen on the stand just to see what it looks like. Let's take a look at all the pieces that come with it. So we have the stand, we have the power brick, and then we have this crazy cable, which is, um, an HDMI cable, the red cable, uh, which is part of the power, and then a USB that goes into the PC, and then the USB-C that goes into the tablet. It's pretty nice, there's only one plug-in going in. This cable is uh, connected to the red USB and goes into the power brick itself. So let's look at the storage for the pen. On one end, you'll have extra nibs for replacing the tip of the pen, because you know we're all gonna wear those down like crazy. On the other end, we have uh, the actual pen itself, and that's just stored on the inside there. And you just pull it out, and we can take a look at it. You'll notice it has two buttons and uh, no eraser. So what that is is the the top longer button is actually the toggle for the eraser. Uh, and you just press that to toggle back and forth between erasing and painting. The cap actually ends up becoming the holder for the pen, so that's kind of cool. It's not shown here, but it comes with a glove as well. I wanted to give you guys a quick glance at just the software that comes with the tablet so that you can see all the options that you have. It includes the pen settings like you would expect with per application control. And of course, customizing the express keys uh, as well as the radial and touch wheels. Okay, in this part, I wanted to make sure that you guys saw like actually seeing the pen to the surface of the tablet. So I got some really close up shots as you can see here. And we're just kind of looking at the distance between the pen and the screen itself. You can see it's really thin. Like it looks like the pen is literally touching the surface uh, of the screen. And that has to do with the fact that it's a laminated display, right? Talking about the stylus itself, it supports 60 degrees of tilt action and the pen pressure is sitting at 8,192. That's a, uh, that's a lot of pressure. <laughs> it's a mouthful. Here I'm just showing the differences in pressure control inside a ZBrush. Um, really pay attention to how close the brush actually feels to the surface of the geometry. It's that uh, laminated display doing the work. Super nice. Here's just some bonus sculpting, just showing like how how it behaves as you uh, overlap on top of itself and how the smoothing works when you hold down shift. It's uh, It felt quite nice. It's very intuitive. It's very natural. One of the reasons I wanted the Innovator 16 was I wanted to be able to give the feedback that I normally would give on like portfolio reviews or in the Discord critiques. And I wanted to do them on the surface of the actual work. 
because being able to do that versus like the disconnect of looking at the screen and looking down at the tablet and then the screen and there's a disconnect there and i without that disconnect it's so much better and i feel like i can actually give the feedback that i'm seeing in my head easier so it's it's a natural uh, progression for me so going into photoshop i just wanted to do some pressure sensitivity tests where i'm just kind of flowing around and and checking like how the the brush reacts and with pressure sensitivity and just how fluid it actually feels occasionally you'd notice that there'd be low pressure sensitivity and then the brush would just not connect so keep an eye out for that all right so i just wanted to conclude this video on the innovator 16 by xp pen uh, with some things that i liked some things i didn't like and then some stuff that i think uh, xp pen should be adding to their tablets in the future so the things I liked, the extra stuff like the glove and the stand, the stylus latency coming in at 16.4 milliseconds, screen distance is super nice with that laminated display. The cables are designed to be quite easy to just plug and play. Price point at 500 euros. The things I didn't like so much, the stand tilt range was very limited at one angle. The virtual wheel required me to do some extra tweaking in the software to make it work. It was confusing at first. And the eraser button I accidentally clicked on quite often on stream, if you remember. So I actually disabled it in the uh, software. So the dream for me, while having a better stand for more tilt range would be really nice, the, the big, like, awesome option would be the 120 hertz screen. Ever since using an iPad Pro, it's very clear to me that that's the direction that every type of display should be going towards that has a type of uh, pen to screen uh, interaction. Please add this XP pen, it would be amazing. Thanks for tuning in for this uh, kind of overview of my experience with the Innovator 16. Uh, you can find a link to it in the description below. Don't expect these types of videos on this channel. It's just one of those uh, rare occasions where I had this opportunity. So thank you XP pen and I'll see you guys uh, on the stream. Peace.